close. Come on. The mid-season lack of sleep is starting to catch up with us. Given the chance, sneaking up tight to one on the roost has been our best option when dealing with tight-lipped birds. But just because you see him on the limb doesn't mean the deal is sealed. He just pitched to another ridge. It's been so bad. Did you guys hear a bunch of gobbles or yesterday? On the roost, we did yesterday. Did you? They're just not gobbling right now and it's cold and we can't hunt that long, so at least I can't. Nor do I really want to at this point, to be honest. I'm just kind of like, need a little couple day break from turkeys, I think. While I reevaluate my next move, the guys in New York are moving in on some not so tight lipped gobblers. All right, guys. We are out here on uh, my grandparents' farm, and uh, I've been sitting out here for probably 15 minutes, and just listening, not hearing anything. Hooted several times, didn't hear anything. Finally, I just hooted a little bit ago, like 45 seconds ago. I'm gobbled over here, over there in the hill. So, we're expecting one to gobble on that side, so that's why we're over here, but. Hopefully, hopefully we can get in there, make a move on him. I think I know right where he's at, so I kind of know what we should do. I got some decoys, grandma on the gun. Hopefully we can make something happen this morning. It's a beautiful morning, still warm. It's gonna get real warm today. Should be good. With not much time, we snuck in here. I'd like to get closer, but there's no way with how much light we got. He's gobbling, there's a hen talking back, so stuff could get interesting. It's a beautiful day today, so hopefully they're wanting to play. Hen's talking really good. Gobbler's going on. I'm we'll gonna start talking to her. He's coming. Where is he? Halfway across the field. There's the end. Oh, there he is. Here comes another one. There's two of them. Yep. He's strutting. Yep. Well, this is a decoy down here. You're just gonna charge it. There's two. There's another hand in the woods. Yep. And there's the other. Big, beautiful guy. He's surveying.
You got him. I didn't think it was going to oh. keep behind us. You got him. You got him. Are you serious, Grandma? I didn't think it was going to hit the shot. Are you serious? Did that just work like that? <laughs> the girls all left. They were like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Are you serious? You smoked him. I was afraid for a minute, but he got at me. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Hi, buddy. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Good job. <gasps> Good job to you. He, he, the gig was up. He started putting. Oh, yeah, I heard the putting. And I'm like, whenever he, he can. Was, I know. Was, me too. He was like, whoa. I can't he, was, he was buying a tree for me too. Yeah. I was like, poke your little head out. <laughs> I yep. was waiting because like, he's a big bird. Oh, he came in all pretty all the way across yeah. that field. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking. Yeah, it was a good one. He got me a big one. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. We're on it. Yep. Yeah. It was, a, it was a great play. It was beautiful. Oh, he got a big old noggin on him. That was extremely fast. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I thought we. 5.50. Five, what time is it? 5.50. 5.50? Yeah. It's not even 6 o'clock yet. We just made a... We heard him from way up on the hill over there. And we came down. And he was roosted up on this hill behind me. And then came out full strut. Strutted around for a while up top. And then the hens ran down here. And then he ran right to just about the decoys. And I don't know if he saw us move or something. And he kind of got spooked. But, I mean, he was... What, 15 yards? Good. Little 20 gauge. She patterned good. <laughs> that had yeah. messed up. And Grandma got it done. It's a two year old. He's got a nice beard, too. Got a beard on him. It don't work like that normally around here. <laughs> <laughs> it don't. We usually struggle, so. Today is May 10th, right? There. Good to go. Oh, I'd say he's bigger than that. How, how, how heavy do you think he is? Oh, he's 20 something. Over 20? Yeah, he is. Do you have a scale at the farm? Yeah. We can use the bathroom scale and weigh him with and without us. He's probably the heaviest bird I've felt all the season, to be honest with you. Yeah, he's a big. Like, yeah. He's, he's Let's walk back in the woods with him. 
Let's get some pictures. Slip right in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> These are so good done. He's big. This might be one of the quickest hunts. We don't have any film before this because we kind of just got up. And uh, Joe and I were both checking just a couple spots for our work because it's already almost six something. We were going into work, but we figured we'd check a couple of spots somewhere and right next to this property that we just got permission to hunt. We pulled over at this field, me and Joe, and there's a bird hammering at the back of this field. He's so walking this way. And this morning I heard him, but he was way off and he yeah. for whatever reason worked this way. So we got no film before this, but there's a bird close to where we can hunt and he's hammering. Yeah. So we're gonna run back there and see if we can get him. Before he gets to his edge. Yeah. So He spooked. What? He spooked. Did he? Yeah. I couldn't even see him. I was going to let him come, and he picked his head way up, and I barely had a shot, so I took it. Dude. I've been working for it. <laughs> I had to take it. We can't always get but. perfect footage. This whole hunt was a mess. <laughs> we didn't even plan on hunting this morning. I know. Don't, that's what I, I said at the beginning of this hunt. We had. Z I wasn't going to fake it. But not going to, you know. The last week in New York provided some great action and we are looking forward to the next leg of our season in the Adirondacks. We haven't spent much time in the region, but the short time we have spent has been rewarded with hard goblin birds. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? What? <laughs> Ever. <laughs>